Right, so you're watching this video that means that you have a smart, smart or an Android television at home and you have realized that the performance of the TV is going down day by day. So it used to be really faster when you bought it initially but now with time over after an year or so you would have realized that the when you use different apps on your television it gets frozen. You always get uh, buffering issues while you are trying to stream online content and uh, there are there are a lot of things that you can do on your television on and on this video we're going to cover 10 different ways or settings that you can have on your television that will definitely improve your the television performance so stay tuned so before we start with the first one i would ask uh, if you want to uh, subscribe to my uh, youtube channel uh, so that you can keep up, uh, updated to the latest videos uh, i keep on posting similar videos from time to time if you like the video uh, click the like button and share it with your friends so let's make a start now okay so the first and the foremost reason uh, your uh, live content could be buffering uh, while you are trying to play netflix or amazon prime or youtube videos can be down to the connection of broadband so what you can do on that is I would always prefer you go for a LAN wired uh, connection rather than going for a wireless one. We all want a wireless connection. That is the whole purpose of buying a smart television and smart devices. But if your the your broadband connection is not uh, stable, or if you want to get the extra bit of your broadband uh, bandwidth, it is always better to go for uh, a LAN connection. So how you can test it? is you you have on a television you would have this uh, broadband or wi-fi icon go in here it will show you whether your tv is connected through wi-fi or if it is under uh, lan so so uh, for me you can see it's connected through wi wired lan so by default if you have both a wire uh, lan cable connected as well as a, as a wi-fi router uh, is there uh, it will by default go into the wired lan and the benefit of that is that whenever the LAN is taken out, it will switch directly to the, the Wi-Fi network. Uh, as I said earlier, you will get some extra bits. Let's say for me, it's a 30 Mbps speed. If I use LAN cable, I get around 26 Mbps speed. If I go for a Wi-Fi connection, uh, it goes down to 21, 22 Mbps speed. So the speed is better plus the connection is stable. So number one tip is to go for a wired LAN connection rather than going for uh, Wi-Fi wi one, right? So there's always a trade-off uh, between the wires you want to see in your television. But for me, you can see uh, the wired cable connection is to the TV is really through the wall and no one can see the wires behind, right? That's one. Number two is if you are have on a television, if you go to settings, there would be something called a, a GPS tracker or a location tracker i would recommend if you don't use any apps uh, that doesn't actually uh, require a location tracking you switch it off so if you go in uh, down on your television on your, if you have a sony android or smart television within personal there would be location if you go to location you can go and switch it off because at least me, um, I, I don't use any of the uh, services that would need a location to be on uh, there would be a few apps that would definitely want uh, your location to be on, like BBC iPlayer. Uh, it's not that it, it, it won't work, it's just that they would want to see if you're, for the copyright reasons or for media rights, uh, are they, uh, uh, I mean, are they authorized to, to show a certain content in your, uh, in your country or not. So, but for me, I don't use any of the such apps, uh, which are uh, I'm restricted to geographical reason. So you can turn it off. Uh, if that is not the case with you, you need to turn it off, uh, turn it on. It's up to you. But there is a trade-off because there would be a lot of TV processes running in background uh, that would slow down your television. So that's number two. Uh, number three, I would say is you should review the installed apps on your television from time to time. So if you are somebody uh, who has a similar uh, uh, habit as myself to keep on installing uh, apps from time to time and then you always forget to uninstall it if you don't use it, the best way is to do some housekeeping. Uh, go to settings, within settings, again if you go down, you can see within apps, you would be able to see the list of apps that are installed on your television. So these are the apps, let's say on my television, uh, and if you're not using them frequently, I would say you go in there and just press press uninstall. 
so the first thing is it will uh, free up some space on your uh, storage on your television and then secondly uh, i mean lesser the apps the more the lesser the number of resources it will utilize and the performance will be better as well right so that's the uh, one way of doing it but it's always good to uh, do these uh, app reviews from time to time and just remove the unused uh, services and apps on your television if you're not using it so that's number two that's what that's number three let's move on to the next one uh, i would say another one is to coming back to the apps if you go into apps uh, if you have to keep these apps on your television uh, make sure that you clear the cache or the clear the data these two from time to time so this will all i mean this is i mean the app store some of the cookies and some of the data uh, based on your usage patterns to give you a personalized and a customized uh, experience but in case you don't want uh, the notification to be sent by the app or if you don't think that app you need any customized or personalized experience or for that particular app you can keep clearing the cache and data from time to time or the other way would be just to click on uninstall and uninstall that app uh, permanently from your television it will ask for a final check and here it is it will be uninstalled from your television so that's number four let's move on to number so that's number three that's move on to number four uh, is to turn off the uh, automatic updates on your television so there would be a lot of updates happening from time to time they have to move on to the latest versions it is mostly recommended but i personally think that it slows down your television from time to time so what you can do is because the, what happens is if you're playing a a a, a, a ultra hd or 4k content on your television and some processors are running in background to update the apps or your tv uh, it slows it down so turn it off i would say number five would be to go into your television and check out or check off uh, the usage patterns and diagnostic so within uh, settings if you go within usage and diagnostics you you'll see you can either turn it on or turn it off I mean what it will do is based on your usage patterns and the errors you keep getting on your television or the bandwidth of uh, uh, broadband speed you are getting uh, what your usual uh, usage patterns are it will be sending off everything to, uh, to to Android if it is Android television or to whoever the service provider or your TV has come from uh, and they would use it for improvements so it's in a way good for them to do some uh, uh, research and development at their end but for in or at your end it will utilize some resources in background and might slow down your television so i would recommend switch it off let someone else send them these diagnostics and help them not you okay moving on number six i would say is uh, tv security and restrictions so within settings in your television you see here security and settings i would say turn off unknown sources the reason being if you install any app which might damage your hardware or work with some of your software and pull it down it's always better to turn it off so that uh, you don't get any uh, i mean any unwanted uh, apps installed on your television which are not authorized by google next 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 thing would be to turn on verify apps that's an additional check uh, of whatever apps you are downloading they will not cause any harm to your television obviously all right okay so that's number six let's move on to number seven and here i would say uh, uh before you download or install any apps on your television make sure that you read about the version of the app and what app you're installing and check with the hardware compatibility of your tv so to so check what tv hardware and software it can it has so, well, sorry what tv hardware it is and what version of software it is uh, you can go into settings and then about and then see what version of Android or smart television whatever you have it has got and then check for this app you're trying to download and then see whether it's compatible for you or not whether it, it will give you optimum performance or not if not don't install it because it will play around with other installed apps as well and might uh, I mean deteriorate their performance as well to check uh, the software updates available as I said switch it off but it for me it is on but and then i would say whenever you're not using television uh then switch it on for a day 
and then it will install when you like it rather than it installing it whenever they like it to be installed on your television so turn it on only when you want it to be installed on your television All right then another thing i would say is whenever there are multiple uh, apps running that's number nine uh, that's number eight on my um, uh, of my point whenever there are multiple apps running on your uh, t uh, on your tv let's say let's say let me give you an example uh, i go into youtube and then what i will do is uh, on this remote uh, i will go to go to home right so it will come out and then what i will do is i'll go into another app so that's not a good practice i would say if you're not going to go back to youtube uh, what i would suggest is press the back button and then exit it properly you see press back again to exit so that would close down the app properly rather than pressing the home button where both of these apps would be running or competing with each other for the resources of your television this will also slow down your television so i would recommend you properly come out of the app uh, 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 rather than just uh, coming out of it uh, without, without exiting it properly right so that's that's another thing so so i'll come out uh, number 10 i would suggest is uh, whenever there are multiple apps running at the same time and one of them gets frozen that takes up a lot of resources of your television right and the other apps can perform well as well so you might face streaming issues and all so come back to settings go to apps let's say there is an uh, app running and what you do is there would be an option to force stop it it's similar to what you have on your laptops you you can force kill a process which is utilizing too much of resources on your laptop similarly on your television also within apps if you go down there would be a force stop option of that particular app just uh, force stop it that's it so it will kill the uh, running uh, i mean uh, session of that app and nothing else will change right uh, and the last or uh, uh, the 10th uh, tip uh, number 10 uh, that will i will I'll tell you is to uh, frequently update the apps that you use so i'm saying that you usually turn off the tv updates uh, or and uninstall all the apps which you don't use or clear the cache and data of the apps you don't use but for the apps that you use constantly or very frequently make sure uh, that uh, they are updated and that they have the latest version so you, for this one it's the latest of, uh, version otherwise it would, it would have asked for, for for to me to install the latest version of the of the app uh, so so these were the 10 uh, uh, simple or uh, i mean steps you can follow on your smart television no matter which brand it is whether you you are using a uh, samsung smart television whether it's sony smart television any android television it doesn't make any difference these are some steps which are basic and every uh, person who uses the smart television should follow if you have any questions around any of these uh, just post in your comments uh, uh, I would send a link to the, my blogs as well. Um, SonyAndroidTV.com is the website name. They are similar blogs and uh, uh, I mean best practices of smart television, Android television mentioned there. Go visit these blogs and keep watching my YouTube videos as well. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.